Indigenous History Month, Day 22. Warning, this one could make you upset. We all talk about how terrible the residential schools were, but we can't even begin to comprehend the far-reaching effects it had on the survivors. Try to imagine you're a survivor. You're done. You're out of the residential school and you're back in your home community. You've come back from a place that beat and shamed the language out of you. And now you're in a community where everybody speaks the tongue except for you. You're alone in a crowd. And that crowd is your family. When it came time to go on a hunt, you had no idea what you were doing. Remember, the residential schools taught you that hunting was barbaric, savage, and wrong. And yet all around you, there were people doing what they've been doing for hundreds of years. Imagine the confusion and mental anguish you'd be going through. But what was perhaps most damaging was you were robbed of what it is to be an indigenous mother and father. They didn't teach you what it is to raise an indigenous child or family. Thank you for listening to my words. Part 2, tomorrow. Coping.